Welcome back for my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Thursday, the 30th of January. Looking at Dolly Yen, which has actually been stuck in a little bit of a range in the last few days. That uh, range is more prominent, I think, on the hourly chart, um, where you can see here it's uh, fluctuated between 108.70, 109.25. 109.25 being arguably a pivot line now, uh, as well, that old low becoming resistance overhead. Um, and it's interesting that this consolidation has really come as uh, the market has sort of fluctu fluctuated slightly with regards to um, the risk appetite element of uh, the coronavirus, the risk appetite falling away again today. Um, and uh, subsequently, the yen has strengthened. Um, we saw the Fed meeting last night, little slight dovish tilt, although it was interesting that the um, Dolly Yen didn't really react to the Fed meeting. Um, it was only later in the um, overnight period that uh, we saw that the uh, Dolly Yen started to fall away as uh, risk appetite just started to dissipate once more um, and markets were selling off uh, in the Asian session. So subsequently, we have seen a dip back towards 108.70, but for now that holds. Um, I would argue that I think that the breakout from this little mini range of what's that only sort of 55, 60 pips, um, I think that that's going to be important. I think a, a closing breach of 108.70, given the fact that we've sort of attempted a little rally, I think that turns into a bear flag. And then you're looking at the 107.65 area being a potential target from that move to the downside. Um, 108.50, I've talked about that being a, an old breakout level of support. It's only minor um, and it was only a guide, but I think that the market would be sort of turning quite, um, quite negative in a breakdown below 108.70, so 108.50 initial support, but ultimately I think you're looking at the 107s again in that scenario. Um, the, the other reason being that you've got these momentum indicators which are sort of coming back to key areas and key levels. Um, stochastics now, as you can see, pretty much every time picking up around that 20 point. If we saw that breach of 108.70, you could see an acceleration below, 10, um, below 20 area. Um, you could also see RSI which had held on to the sort of 40 mark. And again, that could sort of dip quite alarmingly. So that's why we'd be looking at 108, uh, sorry, 107.65 as sort of the um, next support area. Um, but yeah, I think it is, it is that way in the fact that a, a break of, to the downside of 108.70 isn't really negative, but equally, if we could see um, the market breaking above 109.25, that starts to sort of re-engage the bulls a little bit more. And you'd be looking out for confirmation on the hourly chart with the RSI above 60 for that, um, that near-term breakout, because if a failure at 10, uh, uh, underneath that 60 area on the hourly RSI, um, would be a little bit of a concern um, as to how sort of uh, how much the market is backing that move. But um, 109.25, closing breakout above that with the RSI on the hourly above 60, then I'm looking at uh, that being a pretty decent move and a, a, and a rally opportunity. But for now, we're still sort of hovering around and looking for Dolly M to break. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinars.